Last year, I made a video on how to create progress bars in Final Cut Pro. Today, we're taking it to the next level. Video already in the timeline. This is Sibon doing some workout in the gym. Click on that. Press V to disable it for now. Then go to the left side of the software. Click on Titles and Generator sidebar. Click on Elements. Select Shapes. Drag and drop in the timeline. Make it the same length as the video. Then click on that. Go to the right side of the software. Click on Generator Inspector. With the shape, change it to Rectangle. Fill color. Let's change it to gray. If you can't find gray, just use the color picker and select any gray color you see on the software itself so something like this you can just click on that and it's going to choose that color for you and then you can just drag it and drop it in one of these empty boxes and it's going to be as a color preset for you in the future so you save much time now close that with the outline we don't need that so we just take it off drop shadow opacity take it down to zero then click on the video inspector go to the transform with the skill x increase that and stretch it then with the skill y let's reduce that so we can make it as small as possible now make a duplicate of that by pressing option and dragging upwards to not get ourselves confused let's just rename this one let's make it second so with that selected go to the right side of the software click on generator inspector and then with the full color let's change that to somewhere tail color or you can choose any color you want let's close that now move your playhead to the first frame then go to the video inspector we're going to use crop for this effect click on this crop icon to show it on screen let's make this small so we can see where it ends now drag this to this very side and make it big now for you guys to see now we're going to drag this side to the top color disappear on the screen so something like this looks pretty cool then go to the right and make a keyframe on that then go to your last but one frame and drag this side to the very end of the bar and it's going to automatically make a keyframe on right and the rest of them for you so now i'll show you guys what we have so far we have the bar moving in nicely good now make a compound clip of these two shapes limit bar now go to the right side of the software scroll down and click on this track plus icon without a compound clip we will not be able to get access to the tracker and that's one trick you can use in the future edit so with that selected let's make this as small as possible let me click on this and increase the size of it and now make it as small and move it to this very side now click on fit and click on this analyze and final cut pro is going to track it forward and also track it backwards that's pretty cool and click on done now go to the left side of the software click on title scroll down select basic title drag and drop in the timeline make it the same length as the rest of them then click on that go to the test inspector and delete the test over there now press ctrl command and space bar to bring the character viewer out and with that click on bullet and stars and select this very triangle icon that's what we're going to use just drag and drop it in the test space now close this and if you don't want this white color you can just scroll down click on this show and then you can change the color to any color you want but with this tutorial we're going to maintain the white color now use the on-screen controls and drag it to the top of the bar then go to the left side of the software scroll down click on elements select shapes drag and drop in the timeline make it the same length as the rest of them with the shapes let's change that to square outline we just turn it off we don't need that drop shadow opacity turn it to zero then go to video inspector and reduce the size to somewhere 10 to 15 click on the transform icon and drag it to the top of this triangle now click on done then go back to the left side click on counting drag and drop in the timeline make it the same length with the rest of them then click on that go to your generator inspector with the color we'll change it to the same color as the bar so i'll go with the tail color close this with the font i'll maintain that format i'll change it to percent and also with the ending i'll change that to 100 since we're going for 100 percent with the minimum digits let's go with one now go to your video inspector click on the transform icon and now decrease the size of it drag it to this side and let's reduce it more now go to skill y increase that so we can stretch it it looks pretty cool with that effect click on done now make a compound clip of the counting the shapes and also the title so let's name that shapes and click on this transform icon now move it to this side since we're going to track it the same as the bar now with the shape selected click on the transform icon click on this drop down menu and we're going to use the tracker source as the 
bad we did earlier on with the tracker click on that and select object track and click on done so right you can see it moves exactly the same with the bar from there you can just click on the video press v and you can see it right on there and one cool way you can just make a compound clip of all of them and then you can reduce the size of it click on this transform icon and place it anywhere on the screen with the second method we're just going to delete the shapes and we're going to maintain the bar click on the video press v to disable it for now go to your right side of the software choose shapes drag and drop in the timeline make it the same length as the rest of them click on that go to the generator inspector we're going to maintain the circle with the full color let's go for the same color as the bar close that outline i'll go for gray and close that with the width i'll go for somewhere 35 drop shadow opacity take it down to to zero now go to video inspector and reduce the size of it under transform click on the transform icon drag it to this very side click on done now go to the left side of the software let's choose counting you can find that under element drag and drop in the timeline stretch it to make it the same length as the rest of them click on that go to the generator inspector side with the color we leave it at white font will leave it the same way and then we'll type in 100 since we're going for 100 percent with the format change it to percent minimum digit let's go for one now click on the video inspector and then click on the transform icon let's reduce the size of it drag it to the top of it and let's reduce it more and drag it and place it nicely now we can stretch the y as is just like we did it earlier on click on done now make a compound clip of the counting and the shapes name it shapes we're going to track it to move at the same time with the bar and remember earlier one we did the tracking with the bar so we click on the shapes click on this transform icon and move it to this right side now with the tracker over here click on the drop down menu we're going to use the same tracker source and with the tracker we just choose object track click on done and we have ourselves some cool progress bar we can use in our fitness videos we're going to start with the progress bar since you know how to create the progress bar so click on your video press v to disable it for now now go to the left side of the software choose shapes drag and drop in the timeline make it the same length as the rest of them go to your generator inspector side we're going to use circle for this with the full color we maintain it as white outline let's take that off drop shadow opacity turn it to zero then go to your video inspector click on the transform icon and let's reduce the size of it now drag it to somewhere like this on the screen make a duplicate of that then click on the second one let's rename that second now go to your right side of the software use the x axis to move it somewhere like this then make a duplicate of that again pressing option and dragging upwards let's rename that to complete and with that we just use the x axis and drag it to the ending of it click on done now go to the left side of the software scroll down click on titles choose basic title drag and drop in the timeline make it the same length as the rest of them go to your test inspector type in one we're going to use the same font i'm going to maintain the same size and use the on screen and drag it to this very side now make a duplicate of that then go to your right side of the software scroll down and use position x and drag it to this very side now scroll up and change the name of it to now make a duplicate of that once again go to the right side of the software let's type in complete then scroll down use position x drag it to this very side so this is what you do when the bar meet exactly this circle you make a cut on that very shape so as you remember this was our one that's the one circle we make a cut over there click on that command b to make a cut on that very place then we move forward when we meet the second that's the two we make a cut on the second click on that command b to make a cut then we go to complete when it touches that we click on that the complete command b to make a cut over there now we come back to the first circle click on that go to the right side of the software with the full color we change it to somewhere green then close that then go to the second one we we'll do the same thing over there change the color to green then close that and then we'll go to complete we we'll click on that and change the color to green too so now we have something like this it comes in when it touches it changes to green now there's one cool way to add extra touch to make it look nice and clean take the playhead to where we made the first 
cards, select the first shapes, go back four frames, make a keyframe on scale all. Now go to the last part one frame of that one that we've selected, make a keyframe on scale all, and this time around increase the size to somewhere 15. So now we're going to do the same thing with the green color. Click on that, go to the first frame, make a keyframe on scale all, change the size to 15, then go four frames forward and make a keyframe on that. And this time around, we change the size back to 10%. Now we have something like this. It comes in, it touches it, it zooms in and changes color. So we do the same thing with the rest of them. Now we're done, we can turn our video on by selecting the video and pressing V to enable it. Make a compound clip of all of these ones. And with that selected, we can click on the transform icon and drag it to anywhere on the screen. This next video will show you top 10 masking effects you can create in Final Cut Pro. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.